What's up, world? I'm Davis, Dan Davis. Um, there's a story, a bit of a story about how I ended up being Davis and introducing myself as Davis all the time. Um, but it's, I've been through different iterations kind of on the internet since the MySpace days of Davis and Disorderly Davis and now DL Davis and people that I've known, met recently over the past year have taken to call me Dan. Um, so I just figured if I'm going to actually start producing videos and talking about the things that I'm that interest me and the things that are important to me um, and the things that I think might be important to other people as well uh, that I might as well go with my my full name not that I uh, am against or or you know have have anything against what's you know whatsoever against people that don't use their real name when they're doing this sort of thing but that's just I guess that's what I'm choosing to do so I'm Dan Davis um, and why would I do this sort of thing why would I add my voice to all the other people that are out there producing videos, talking about stuff? Well, without naming a whole bunch of, of names, because I haven't done anything, I'm not anybody, I'm not an expert on anything, I haven't completed any tasks, really, I've tried to do things in the past, but, you know, I'm not going to compare myself to those people uh, yet, but the people that I admire that are doing this sort of thing... They, I think they need help. Uh, not because they're not doing a great job. They are. Uh, in a wide array of different subject matter. Amazing things are going on, mostly on the inter internet, mostly having to do with video. Um, but the people that I admire, the people that are talking about the things that I care about, need help not because they're not awesome. Uh, they need help because they can't cover every angle they even if they wanted to nobody has enough time and nobody has a thought process you know if we just we need to help each other in putting out good information and even if it's just having a general conversation and adding our opinion fact-based opinion to two things so that's that's one reason but it's not because I think I'm smarter or or more naturally intelligent than anyone everything that I talk about in public everything I post everywhere I fully believe that 99.9% .9 of the people that I've met in my life are naturally, born naturally intelligent enough to understand the subject matter that I'm talking about. And I also think that in many cases, uh, they hold a lot of the opinions that they hold because they're only shown a certain portion of the available information. And it leads us to a, a, a point to where <laughs> uh, we're so far away from the heart of the actual factual subject matter that interjecting hardcore base cold analysis facts can be very jarring and sound really radical to what we're used to hearing, how we're used to discussing things. And I think that's changing to for the better. Um, but it's, it's, it's still a fact. It was never my intention to uh, basically talk to myself while staring at a camera lens. All of this stuff happened to me by accident. I was never some conspiracy theorist. I was never uh, looking for the dark underbelly of the world. I, you know, I w wasn't ever looking for that. What happened with me is that people were talking to me because they wanted to, I guess, it was important to them, about things like chemtrails or the potential dangers of vaccines. And my initial response was, shut up, <laughs> you're crazy, you know, there's no way. And, and so my journey into all of this began with me trying to shut them up, trying to... Um, trying to find the factual information uh, that could prove them wrong, that would get them out of my face and keep them from <laughs> talking to me about all these crazy subjects, right? Well, the problem is, is that oftentimes I would find out factually, not in every case, there's plenty of crazy, literally sorry if that's offensive to some people, but not reality-based real theories, things out there that just aren't factually based. There's plenty of them. And you can vet them, you can source them, you can go look up the information and find out that they're not telling the truth. But there's a lot of stuff that sounds crazy to all of us, the general, average, everyday people, that sounds nuts. But it's true. And it's nuts because people that are producing it and creating it, funding it, it, multiple it's, uh, are crazy. They're 
sociopaths. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a scientist. I'm not an expert at anything. I don't have a degree in anything. But that doesn't mean I can't read. That doesn't mean I can't think cognitively. And it certainly doesn't mean that I can't read and understand the direct statements of a lot of people in the world uh, that have said, we are going to, for instance, I would very much like to use vaccines to reduce the population. Well, how do you do that? How exactly do you do that if you're not putting poisons in them? So the people, there's a good thing to talk about for me, just to give a little bit of taste of the kind of stuff that I'm going to be talking about. Uh, the people talking about uh, vaccines and the potential dangers of vaccines, the cost-benefit analysis when taking vaccines, the things that are presented in the public by corporate media generally, uh, when they're talking about so-called anti-vaxxers, is not the argument that is being made most of the time. Most of the people talk that are so-called anti-vaxxers are not talking about anti-science, like there is such a thing as learned immunity. What they are talking about is the cost-benefit analysis. What is the efficacy percentage? What level, you know, like 10% this year for the, for the flu vaccine. Um, what is the percentage of times that they've been correct in guessing what the, the next strain mutation is going to be? Well, as far as I know, that's zero. So that's what we're talking about. On top of things like adjuvants, preservatives, things that cause other side effects that a lot of times are not studied. So those are the things that we're presenting, but we're misrepresented most of the time and made to look like kooks. And they can find somebody, you know, when I say they, people, corporate media, uh, anybody can do it. It doesn't matter what direction they're coming from. You can go find somebody that literally maybe not be all there or maybe they are but they're just really misinformed but they fully believe what they're saying and you know like with 9-11 for instance space beams people or you know holographic planes and you put them on the news and say this is 9-11 truth well you do the same thing with vaccines or so-called chemtrails anything like that you produce you present that as the argument and it's, it's almost never the argument um, that is being presented by the thinking people that concerned people saying, hey, would you please look at this? So that's the perspective that I'm coming from, but it was never my intention to to do this. So a little bit of background before I'm done. Um, I've done a couple other things that were kind of news, newsy, um, and I wasn't really that great at it. Uh, Floodlight News, a long time ago, it was like a blog thing. I, <clears throat> I don't even remember the blog space that we were using um, to do that. Uh, so I couldn't even find it. And it was three of us trying to do a, a text news sort of thing. And it didn't last very long. And then later I did a thing called Common Sense News uh, with uh, this other person. Uh, she called herself uh, CSN Corinne. She went by a gnome to plume. I don't know why she didn't want people to know her full name. But I, did, I, you know, I went by Davis too at the time. Uh, anyway... Uh, that was more of like a news format, but we wanted to make it kind of more fun and tongue-in-cheek and involve, include in the overall show, a lot of stuff that uh, didn't have anything to do with heavy social-political stuff. Uh, she was a lot better at it than I was, because uh, it was canned, it was written, you know, it was scripted, and I didn't do very well at, you know, reading the lines and stuff, and we never had time to, like, memorize them, so I did what I called the Shatner. It was called Common Sense News, you can find it on, on YouTube. There's some other guys that did something similar also, uh, but I think it was more like a man on the street thing. I think they started after me and they continued after me. Uh, some stuff happened in my life, bad physical stuff that kind of made me stop doing it. I did produce a couple more uh, episodes after that, but I was literally in an eye patch and a neck brace and uh, the information was good, but <laughs> I, it was not cute. So I, I decided not to uh, produce those and never going to. So, uh, Separate of that, I wanted to do, people came to me and said, hey, you know, they didn't, they were nice about it. They didn't say, you're really bad at the, you know, reading off a script thing. They said, you're really good at just talking. If you, if you just put a camera in front of you and just talk, you're way better at that. Um, so it, I thought about it for a long time and I still want to do some sort of entertainment show if that's the thing that I'm going to do with my life and try to get uh, information out there. I still want to do like an in informational entertainment show that's not it it's quality you know you're getting something from it but it's not just all heavy social political stuff all the time 
So I've been organizing, putting that together for a long time, have uh, partners, people that are uh, wanting to help me with it. That's good. It, the ball's rolling on that. Hopefully it'll be produced, uh, start being produced, because I have much better facilities than I used to, uh, and equipment, knowledge, all of that stuff than I used to back in the day. But when I was planning all of this, as we're planning all of this, and putting it together, it made me realize, wow, I really do want an outlet to talk about all the sociopolitical heavy stuff and just talk about factual stuff. I know I didn't really get in deep with all of this stuff, but I just wanted to kind of announce, like, hey, for the, you know, six or seven people on the planet that know I exist, I'm just saying, hey, I am here for the supposed detractors, you know, that are saying things like, hey, you can talk all day long, but I want to see some results, or people saying, like, hey, are you just, are you, if you care about this stuff, you're going to do more about it than just be a keyboard warrior. Well, A, I have in the past been more than just a keyboard warrior, and B, you're right, I should be doing more if I do care about it, even though, you know, like I said, maybe only six or seven people will watch this video. Um, so that and um, common sense, total, this and common sense, totally separate things. Uh, the one thing I can say is, for anybody that knows what it's like to produce a show, try to produce a show, uh, it takes a lot of time, it takes a lot of effort, it takes good equipment, it, you know, it takes equipment, it takes storage space, I just had to cut right there because <laughs> my phone ran out of storage space, um, it takes a lot of time and effort to produce, you know, videos, uh, so this and the other show, I have no idea how often they're going to be produced, and this one, I'm not going to put up a bunch of um, links and do cool stuff like a lot of other people do, um, it's because I don't have the time. I will talk, uh, you know, specifically about, um, documents, uh, statements, book titles, things like that, um, and when I can remember, or I'm looking at it on my computer over here, uh, quote things, if you so choose to go verify that what I'm saying is factual, then that's up to you, um, I'm not saying, you know, that I'm above, you know, uh, sourcing what I'm talking about, but I will be sourcing what I'm talking about verbally, just not with, you know, links and flashes of news articles and stuff like that. I don't know how often I'm going to produce it, and it's not going to be, you know, trying to be all super slick or anything like that. I'm just going to be talking about what I want and the things that I know, the things that I found out, and the things that you can verify. Um, so if you're interested in that, then, uh, you know, keep watching. Uh, it takes money, right, to produce that sort of thing. That's why, unless somehow some miracle comes through that I'm actually getting paid um, to do this, then it's just going to be on my time outside of work, outside of being a dad, outside of life that everybody else has. Um, so, uh, yeah, I guess that's it. Thanks for watching. Um, watch some more if you're interested in that in that sort of sub subject, or if you want to yell at me in the comments or whatever. Um, Whatever, cool, thanks for watching.